Mark Fletcher with you again. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you this new button panel array that I've made. I've been enjoying this knobs panel so much, but I came to realize that I use my mouse an awful lot in finding the direct to button and the menu and flight planner and stuff like that. So I decided to make a panel to include all those buttons. And so here it is. And I decided to use all the buttons that I typically use with the G1000 as well as the GNS 530 and 430. And those include the direct to button, the menu button, flight planner button, procedure, and on some airplanes there's a, a flight director button that you can turn on and off. VNAV, of course, and then this message button. I use that in, on the 530 to, you know, display the messages. And then on the G1000, the soft key, I think that's key 12, that does info and shows you warnings and cautions and things like that. And so I use that button for that. And then, of course, there's the OBS button and the CDI. And then on the Cirrus uh, SR22, for example, there's a level function for the autopilot. And so I included that. And I also included six kind of uh, generic buttons that are just blank. That's what these four white buttons and the two yellow ones, I can assign those to whatever I tend to want to use uh, during flight or something. The construction of this thing was just like the knob array panel, and if you want to see that, you can watch that video, of course. So this setup largely eliminates the need for using the mouse during flight, which of course is a very worthy goal. One other thing I want to mention is I've gotten a number of questions about how you map the various Microsoft Flight Simulator events to these buttons and these homemade panels. Unfortunately, taking on these kinds of projects reveals an immaturity in the development of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which does not exist in X-Plane. It's logical that you would look in the Controls Options section of the simulator to find these mappings. For example, if I type in G1000 here, you would expect to find all the functions that relate to the G1000. And as you can see, there are absolutely no mappings for the G1000. Okay, well, let's try AS1000. That's the Asabo version of the G1000. And again, we don't find anything. Okay, it's a real reach, but let's put in autopilot just to see if we find anything that relates. And again, nothing. Very disappointing. So what we have to do is turn to third-party applications. And I have found three. There's the FSUIPC7 that's been around for a very long time and is very difficult to use in my opinion. And there's this thing called SPAD.next which I haven't used and I hear a lot of people talk about. And then there's X's and O's, written by this fellow named Oliver Bender. And I like this tool a lot. It's very professional, well designed, and there's a real nice manual. And to me, the nicest thing about this tool is the support. I've posted a number of questions to the support forum, and Oliver will respond sometimes within a few minutes and, and certainly within 24 hours. And the way X's and O's works is that it builds a configuration for each aircraft that you fly and as you assign buttons and axes and things to the various functions it keeps everything together in that configuration so that when you change to another airplane the configuration for that particular airplane that you set up uh, goes with it. And there's also a scripting language that allows you to build more complex functions in a similar way that you would use fly with Lua in X-Plane. So for example, if I wanted to map the enter key on the PFD, I would first create a button interface in axes and O's, and then find the flight simulator event that controls that button, and then map it to my physical button. There are lots of videos around that show you a whole bunch of other features of axes and O's, but I'll just leave it at that. Well, that's all I got. I just mainly wanted to give you some idea of what it takes to map these buttons in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And by the way, I'm hoping you'll come try to find me at this year's Flight Expo in Las Vegas. That's at the end of June. I would be very interested in chatting with you. Okay, see you next time.